What's up, YouTube? Uh, this video is going to be more informational um, for Poké League. Um, there's also copies of the game of the Chinese version, Wukong Legends, Elfinland, Monster Legend, Pocket League, and a lot of you know Mystery Pets and Crazy Monsters. Um, there are a copy of the Chinese version, which is way ahead in updates. Um, Poké League will get an update, I think, on February 28th. So you'll probably hear more about that when that happens. I'm just going to show some pictures. Um, some of you may already know a lot about what's already released and what's coming. I did want to talk about slacking for a bit. Um, some Mega Pokemon... Um, once you Mega Evolve them, they can't learn TMs. So Slacking, you would think, could learn Earthquake or um, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, um, Body Slam. Some TMs he cannot learn once he Mega Evolves. So you want to do that before you Mega Evolve them. Unless they patch that with uh, an update. It's kind of the same thing with Ice Punch and Weavile. Um, I think Arceus might also be one of those you have to be careful with. Um, definitely Deoxys. The way you do Deoxys is you, tr you tr transform him and then you teach him TMs and then you can maybe evolve him. It's kind of confusing. Oh yeah, back to slacking. P slacking is very um, underrated. Um, Bide actually is there's two bide TMs. I could show you in game later, but there's there there's one bide that should really be called Endure. And if you know anything about Pokemon, Endure will mean that you don't die and you go down to one HP if you're damaged, and then you can do Flail, which is 200 power when you have one HP. Flow is a normal type move, so you would get the same type stab um, bonus. Plus, um, with focus energy and a scope lens, you would get 100% critical chance. Um, instead of substitute, you might want to run earthquake or um, what's another move? Um, I can't think right now. Um, earthquake or body slam, or maybe a elemental punch. Um, and then the Salic Berry, Salic Berry would increase your speed by 1.5. So you would outspeed everything when you use Bide or Endure. Um, th these are some screenshots of just my team. And, um, I'm showing you some Chinese pictures from uh, the Chinese game. This is a Pokemon from Sun and Moon. So just... Showing you some examples of, I think this is X and Y Pokemon, the Steel Ghost type. Um, such a good typing. Um, really, really good um, tank and can be very offensive. This is a, looks like a shiny Ho'o. I don't know too much about this Ho'o, but it exists. <laughs> so we don't know when we'll get some of these updates from the Chinese version, but... Here's some screenshots. Uh, we have uh, Zekrom or Black Kyurem. A Mega Zekrom and a Mega Kyurem can make a Black Kyurem. Um, I'll talk about that more later. Here's another picture of... Um, there's a, I see a Feraligator. Um, Mew. Uh, is that a Mega Ninetales or Mega Shiny Ninetales? Mega Pikachu. Or a shiny Pikachu. Um, is that a Mega Regigigas? Um, and I see some of the Sun and Moon Pokes have a Mega as well. If you want to just pause the YouTube video, that might help. I see a either Crystal Onyx or sh Shiny Onyx over there. Is that a Meganium for Alligator? Typhosion, Mega Marowak, Mega Golem, 
Is that a Mega Machamp? So it's interesting that they don't necessarily always follow the Pokemon games, the legit Pokemon games, and they just kind of make up their own Megas. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Dino, Raikou, um, can't make some of these out. Um, hmm. Oh, that's a Conqueror. Conqueror, the fighting type. Um, is that a... What the heck is that? Oh, I, I, yeah, we, we definitely will get a Mega Skarmory sometime in the future. Wondering if that's a Mega Ente. Oh, this is this is a cool screenshot. Um, I can't make all, all of these. Black and white Kyrams. There's another Rayquaza form. If you see in the top left over here, there's a Char Ashes Charizard. Here's a screenshot of Mega Kyram White. And here is a screenshot of different Rayquaza forms. Um, black Kyram. So a Kyram plus um, Zekrom equals black Kyram. Here's some RVs for this Rayquaza. 155 speed, that is ridiculous. 190 attack. And some other Rayquaza forms. So Rayquaza seems like it will be very strong later on. Another picture of Black Krim. I think Black Krim is pretty tight. Um, such a good move pull. And pretty bulky. In the Pokemon games, Black and White Krim were very overpowered. This is uh, the RVs of Mega transformed or a different form of um, Garchomp. Here's another Rayquaza. This looks like a Mega Reshiram. Is that right? Or is it actually Mega White uh, Kiram? 140 speed. Oh, this is this is a good screenshot of Reshiram, Kiram, and White Kiram. Again, feel feel free to pause the video if you need to. Oh yeah, this is a transform one. Uh, I guess that's it for that. Um, let me show you some other pictures I have. These. 132 speed, 153 special attack. Um, not sure if you can do toxic spikes. This is just showing that you can get to red later. Um, oh, this is black here, I think. Here's some more Rayquaza forms Rayquaza Dawn, Infinite, and Dusk, Infinite. So they'll hit over 150 speed. That's going to be tough to fight. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. We have um, Mewtwo Y, Steel Mewtwo Y, 199 special attack, 142 speed. This is Mega Steel. Mewtwo X that has 132 speed, 195 physical attack, and he does get adaptability for his ability. This is another uh, transformed steel Mewtwo, 158 speed, 203 special attack. This is a uh, steel Mewtwo X, 142 speed, 203 physical attack. Um, that is pretty scary. Here's a picture of Zekrom. Here is Mega 
Mewtwo X, the Steel Mega Mewtwo, and I believe it's a Steel Fighting. I could be wrong. Looks like a Gundam. <laughs> and here is Mega Steel Mewtwo Y. 158 special, I mean, um, speed. Talked about slacking. Here's some of my, mo my Pokemon. Here is a uh, Mega Greninja. Um, that's a picture of my Steel Mewtwo right there. Yada yada. My Arceus. Don't look at that. Uh, don't look at that. Let's see. How do I get out of here? Um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to show you? Oh, this is for hitting SVIP uh, 3. You get two reset cards. That are 20%. That's pretty nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I wanted to... Well, this is what the Steel Mewtwo thing looks like. And here is the Ash Charizard. Maybe Charizard Z. There is a Mewtwo Z. He's wearing Ash's hat, but 2,888. I think that's in yen, so... It's a different in US. Oh, I didn't show the. This is a different Lugia forms as well. <laughs> yeah, this is the Mewtwo Z. And I think that's about it. Um, I guess I can show you guys. If you guys are still watching, <laughs> sorry for the long video. Um, I do have a hundred and about 150k diamonds, and I used to have 170k diamonds, but I spent them all, and now I'm back to 150k. And I have that much gold. I can't even see that number. Let's see if I can. Um. So that's million. That must be one billion, if I'm not, if I'm looking at it right. One billion gold. Um, yeah, I do want to show you my team. So eventually, my ideal team will be Arceus, Groudon, Darkrai, Lugia, Still Mewtwo, and a Mewtwo Y. Yeah, one of these Mewtwo's. I think I think it's the other one. That will be my Dio team. I think. Um, I would be benching Rayquaza though. So I might even take a Lugia out and put a Rayquaza. My Steel Mewtwo is not ready. So what I will use for the time being... I, people said, why did you re reset your Groudon and your Mewtwo? Is because I'm trying to change their nature. And I want Timid for Mewtwo, so I'm going to wait until I get the right nature. Um, but I'll definitely bring Mewtwo Y back into my team. A viable option would be Beedrill. But I believe Beedrill also gets a new form. So I want to put Toxic Spikes on a Beedrill because Toxic Spikes can really help. Especially when you're running a Dark Rye. And if you put two Toxic Spikes, it'd be Severe Poison. Um, I haven't reset some of these other ones. But um, what I'm going to be using for now is Arceus, Groudon, Dark Rye, Rayquaza, Slacking... And I just want to play around with uh, Shiny Lugia for, for a while. Here's Arceus. Mm, I haven't upgraded Groudon much, but I'm thinking of putting Dragon Tail instead of Roar. 
Here's my dark rye. And look at his speed. He's 11,300. And then look at my Rayquaza, which is the same level and the same upgrade, 11,800. Um, I'm probably going to change this ability to Immunity instead of Scrappy. I'll do that later. Um, but again, check out this moveset. Um, you might want to put Earthquake or Body Slam over Substitute. And then for Lugia, I'm going to put... Um, rest, Sleep Talk, Aeroblast, and either Earth Power or R Sphere. And since we're recording, I will try. Um, yeah, we can do this later in another video. Um, let me show you real quick how there is two different bides. For slacking, the one that he learns as he levels up. See this bide, and then this one is really endure. It should be called endure. But he'll pop his berry, and 1.5 times speed, he would outspeed everything for three turns, and then flail crits would sweep and hurt a lot of things. Unless you have the different ability where you can't hit ghost types, you might be walled, so you want to make sure you take out the the ghost types run the immunity um, ability I think that's better because there's so much toxic in the game you could run substitute but I don't know up to you guys I'll probably let's see if I can actually test that out right now I'll do a quick uh, quick battle What did I just do? Oh, I want to make sure he doesn't T wave me. I already got my focus energy in. I don't actually know if the berry will pop in this uh, mode. I kind of hope he breaks my substitute so I can show how bide works. Ooh, calm mind, yeah, that's cool. Oh no, he died! Ugh, I should have substituted. Oh boy. Well, I really want to show off that bide. And for Rayquaza, I've seen someone use Draco Meteor and Dragon Ascent. I think that's a really good combo. Dang. That fortress tanked my outrage. Let's see if I can showcase it somewhere else.
Oh. My game crashed. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, um, comment below. Um, hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching.